Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to share with you a look using my Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadows. I have a few of these videos that I link up here if you're interested in watching those different combinations. This is supposed to be like a really easy way to combine different eyeshadows that you may have already in your collection. So this is not reinventing the wheel. This is not reinventing the wheel, but it's just sharing with you different combination on how I use the screen by shadows. It's 622 AM 23 at this time. And I have a friend right here who's bored already and wants to go outside and play. And my son has been taking care of him all night. He is a puppy. He's a great Pyrenees. And um, he is eight weeks old, even though it's huge. Um, he's eight weeks old and he still misses his mom. He's been with us for a week, so it's like He needs love so I can't just <laughs> Ignore him while I try to record this video because he'll cry like a little baby. I know he's just so cute So anyways, if you're interested in knowing how to achieve this eye look then just keep watching. So I'm going to start by applying the Color Creamy Beige by the Leather Collection of Maybelline and I'm going to use this brush by Laxi. I will leave the links and also to all the brushes and for the products that I'm going to feature in this video in the description box down below in case you want to check it out. But basically this color I apply it all over the lid without getting to the brow bone because especially if you have lighter skin than mine that Color Creamy Beige can be too dark especially Especially for the brow bone so make sure you keep it in the lower part of the lid now I'm gonna move on to the color inked in pink and with this brush that I love for different looks with cream eyeshadows I'm gonna apply it all over the lid making sure that I do um, kind of go into layers because this is a thicker formula than bad to the bronze so for me it takes a little bit longer but it's a beautiful color now I'm gonna clean the brush with a makeup removing wipe and I'm gonna move to the color vintage plum this is another one from the leather collection by Maybelline and I'm gonna make sure that I apply it in layers little by little because it's very pigmented and it does have more of a patchy formula compared to creamy beige so make sure you do take your time to do it in layers now once again I'm gonna clean the same brush because it's amazing and I feel like it's a perfect brush for this look and I'm gonna go back to the color inked in pink and apply it on top of the color vintage plum now if you like the combination of inked in pink and vintage plum you know just how it was before please skip the rest of the steps but I feel like this way it looks a little bit more soft and wearable and I wanted to create more of a romantic look. Now I'm going to clean the brush once again and I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to apply the color Vintage Plum in the outer part of the lid. And as you can see, it makes this color blend a lot better with the color Inked in Pink. I feel like when you do it the first time, they don't really, I don't know, they don't actually blend very well. So once again, I clean the brush and I went once again into the color inked in pink and I went over the color vintage plum now I'm gonna move on to the same color that we apply all over the lid which is creamy beige and I'm gonna apply it into the crease area so I can blend all the colors that we just applied and making sure that all that uh, glittery or shimmery colors don't go over the crease now since I have a warm undertone you can totally skip it or change the color but since I have a warm warmer undertone I feel like the color Bella Mandarin by Milani it's one of the best to kind of make the look come together and also the single eyeshadow by Wet n Wild in Creme Brulee I'm gonna use that one to highlight my brow bone now I'm gonna use the color Vintage Plum to apply to my lower lash line. If you have very, very dark circles, you may wanna skip this step. I sometimes do because I feel like 
purple uh, color or that vintage plum can enhance dark circles so make sure that if you're going to do that use a really good concealer to avoid any darkness now i did apply a little bit of liquid liner in my top lash line because i wanted to define it if you want to go with a wing lighter um, you can go ahead and do that but for me and my small eyes it's just i rather have a really thin line where i can set my lashes these are the number 11 by kiss and that is the final look it's very easy as you can see but i think that the layering process makes it a little bit special without going you know crazy or too dramatic so i hope you really enjoy it uh, let me know what other color tattoos you want me to feature in this series you know maybe you're trying to pan it or something let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys